Bob. 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 Uh, you know what? I, when I was a kid, that song came out, and I went to the YMCA, and I had sex. <laughs> and no, they had having a good time. I didn't want that. I didn't want that at all. I'm more off it. No. <laughs> okay. I think you know this word. A brave mind. You've got John. In the, where are you, John? Hello, There's John. John. With the with the, uh, with the mind. If you want to ask a question, get your hands in the air. That's what I'm saying. Um, I'm actually, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to head back to the autograph area to, to, to sign, uh, because I want to get everyone signed, um, but I'm here for like 5 to 10. Okay, so ask, if you want to ask a question to Nick first then, I'll look, there's the lady in the front row here, it's time to ask you a question. Alright, one of my favourite episodes was Once More With Feeling. <laughs> What's your favourite song? Uh, well, uh, I mean, I love I'll Never Tell. Um, so but, um, <laughs> Into the Fire, uh, and also the song that, that, uh, that Amber sang with Tony, it's fantastic. I can tell you I don't like um, the song with Amber and Valley. The, 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 it was just a little hippie for me. <laughs> and then also, um, the uh, last one with the Buffy, <laughs> that, that, that I just, I'm like, wow, I just didn't like that song. But yeah, <laughs> I love the episode, it's my favorite episode. They got the mustard But, you know, every time Emma and I do, do cons together, we, we sing on the Mattel together. Oh. I thought true. No, we have never We sang it once. Well, we shot it. Yeah. Even though we didn't sing it, because we didn't sing it together, we kind of mouthed it over. We've never sung the song together, though. So, uh, what you're saying is if you sang it now, like, where it would be the world's first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go, yeah, I mean, like, I'll do my I'm part of my... I don't remember it, but I know I know. <laughs> this is the man that I plan to my table, is it me? to come to these 
these things and, and see what the work that we did that was so intimate, how it reverberated out in the world. So and I really get angry with, I mean, a lot of actors don't you get the opportunity yeah. to do it. I get angry at people who have the fucking opportunity, have the opportunity, and don't fucking talk about the opportunity. <laughs> That's a good thing. Let's go right to rage. <laughs> it's so much fun. So I, 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 I love her. Back. I, I, love her. I love her. <laughs> she's, I, we had like one scene together. Or two. Yeah. Like, That's really. why I love her. If you worked with her. I love her. <laughs> Therapist. <laughs> I told her that the other day. I'm like, you remind me of my old therapist. She's like, thank you. I'm like, oh, she's the best. I actually just want to call her up. I mean, I've got nothing to like talk about, but like, really? I really miss her. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>
the soap opera camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, you get to go. What? No, you get to go. Two Canadians. Two Canadians. Two Canadians. <laughs> 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 no, no, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Um, sorry. <laughs> your favorite scene. Now tell them. Well, that was just my favorite episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was flattering to be trusted to have an, like a whole episode dedicated basically to my character, you know, after well, eight years. <laughs> um, and I always just, I loved playing Harmony because she was so fun and funny and she brought such a lightness to the show. So um, it was intimidating, but flattering. Great question. All right, let's, uh, let's have another one. Did you go wrong, John? Run around a bit. Quicker. <laughs> yeah, hi. This question is for Amber. Foot row. <laughs> yeah, here with the dog. Uh, do you have any future book writing plans? Um, I'm moving away from books because they're really hard to write. <laughs> thousands of words. Um, 
But I am, uh, I have a new career. I'm writing lifetime true crime movies. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, great. That's not a lie. Uh, <laughs> I just actually wrote something that, that premiered in the U.S. Uh, based on the Slenderman case. I don't know if you guys heard it. They didn't tell me. I didn't know it was premiered. And then someone called and saw your movie. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so it was based loosely on that. Uh, the two girls that tried to kill their friend to please Slenderman. But he was called the Suzerain in art because you weren't allowed to call him the Slenderman. Uh, Suzerain is odd. Awesome. I didn't come up with it. Uh, but it, it actually worked very well. Uh, and uh, and so yeah, so I've moved into to writing for television and film and stuff now, and it's really fun. It's really nice um, to be able to write words that then you hope down the line people that you love will be able to view your stuff when you have enough clout. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Great question. Thanks for that. Okay. <laughs> Let's have another one. Behind you, John. Go on, get to the back there, John. Is this on? Please. He'll, he'll be back. There. <laughs> How was Harmony doing makeup after he's turned into a vampire? <laughs> this person's coming from me. Thank you so much. 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 whether it's the whole thing, the whole story is in her head, or whether it's reality. I mean, obviously, we know it's a fantasy, you know, show. But what was the intention of that episode? Was it actually to say, hey, this was all in her head and she's in a mental asylum, or was it, no, actually, this was just to mess around with the audience? Um, I, it still stumps me, that one. I'm left like going, please, please don't let her friends be imaginary. <laughs> Well, I can tell you for 100% that I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't, I don't. No clue. I have <laughs> no memory of there ever being an episode <laughs> of Buffy <laughs> I literally don't remember anything. At, like, at all. Like, what is wrong with me? I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with whatever is the best answer. <laughs> Whatever is the smarter choice is the answer. Joyce I have some thoughts on that. <laughs> you remember? You're in it a lot. Okay, I was there. And I do remember it. Okay. My theory is that he was just doing it to mess with people. You know, like everybody would go, oh, I so hope you end up with Giles. And then you would go, well, of course I won't, because that's what we all want. <laughs> you know, so, you know, I think Joss really enjoyed these little red herrings that pulled off to the side. And, and you know, you would always go, oh, that would be so cool if that would happen, so that means it'll never happen. Because <laughs> I thought of it. <laughs> so I think it was just that. But it was kind of upsetting to film that scene. Yeah, it was because horrible. You, did you did sort of go, what if this is real? What if my daughter? Oh, I mean, it was so painful, you know, to imagine that. Thank you. Okay. Great question. Thank you all. Okay, next one. Come on, John. He's just, he's just running random. Yeah. Hey, can we, are you no, sick of it? Don't be the last one. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hello. Okay, thank you. Um, one of my favorite scenes was the harmonies on the slap fight. I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> but... When you saw it in the script, I'm guessing it looked a little bit nuts. Is there anything where you saw it in the script and you thought, I've got no idea how that's going to translate and say it on screen? Yeah, well, we didn't know, well, I didn't know, maybe Nick knew, I didn't know it was being filmed in slow motion. So I think having it being filmed in slow motion helps immensely the, the humor. Um, 
And we knew it was silly, but we just didn't know it would be that legendary. Um, so seeing it was definitely different than filming it, but we had a ton of fun filming it. And he had to wear a shin guard, which I thought was really overdone. <laughs> <laughs> How hard am I going to kick it with the shin? But um, it was it was it was fun to do, and I think it ended up really funny. And it just happened. Can you, can, you, can you speak up a little bit, please? <laughs>
But in Moo, um, the really tall gingerbread guy who hides under your bed. <laughs> I think her villain is a just so the entire show for you. <laughs> it was seven to
like period I've just I've ever worked with and um, I really miss them. They were fans of the show and they yeah and they they just you know it was there were a lot of really funny moments on that show and seeing them trying so hard to not ruin a take I mean just like constantly, I mean, even with the boom, like she kind of shaking because they're like, you know, Kevin, oh, Kevin, um, just the best. I mean, I'm off on a tangent on that, but um, they were the best. They're definitely the unsung heroes of that entire production, and I miss them all very much. Um, so yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so on that note of positivity, that's what we've got time for. Thank you very much. Can you put your thank hand you guys. Up?